Good day. I am Peter Roney and I live in Blacksburg, Virginia. As you can see by the yellow background, I consider this to be an important YouTube video. And the title is A Case Study of Internet-Based Propaganda and Politics. I once visited the Harvard Business School and they uh, were very fond of providing so-called case studies for analysis by their students. So this is a case study and perhaps you might want to uh, think about its implications. I start with a question. What is a museum? In fact, that was the uh, question that I pondered sometime in August when I uh, was thinking about uh, the museum in Floyd County. Well, today is September 23rd, a Wednesday, and I have concluded this morning that a better description than museum is a museum enterprise. And that's what the Floyd County Museum is all about. So what is a museum enterprise? Well, uh, it's a strategy that consists of a private brick bricks and mortar museum, no independent board of directors, the only direction is given by the owner. The museum has a misleading uh, name. Bug Book Historical really doesn't apply because the historical aspect is biased and misleading. And um, the adjective Bug Book History is uh, basically switched into um, a glorification of the Blacksburg group. And when you consider all the files, what we have is propaganda and politics on the internet. And the interesting aspect, and one reason why I call it an enterprise, is that there is worldwide marketing via the internet. And this consists of YouTube videos, audio tracks, and Wikipedia story, blogs, stories, narrated video, camera clips, you name it. And added to all this, there is the misleading use of the Bugs logo. So let me tackle some of these bullet points uh, one by one. I've just stated it's really a museum enterprise. And one of the objectives is to uh, play down Bug Book Historical and uh, segue to the Blacksburg Group. And you may say, why uh, do so? Well, because I was basically involved heavily in the Bug Book historical aspect, which uh, the curator really doesn't want to talk about in detail. So having switched to the Blacksburg group, uh, I believe that a more title, appropriate title for the museum is Blacksburg Group Computer Museum. So what we have here is we have an adjective, bug book historical, and then a bait and switch to the Blacksburg Group. Well, I said before, bug book history is biased and misleading. Most important, it involves it doesn't involve uh, my early role in chemical engineering department 
a role that directly led to the history of the bug books and most important ignores the historical importance of my 177 page workbook for chemical engineering students and it states that all I was was a typist and it falsely claims that bug books one and two were co-written and co-published by uh, myself and the uh, museum enterprise owner. Of course, uh, the owner conveniently ignores the fact there was a lawsuit. Without mentioning this lawsuit, all he says, as I saw in 2009, is that I dropped out. Untrue. I sued the pants off of Titus, Larson, and Titus. So another inconvenient fact, there never was a June 17, 1980 settlement agreement. And a third inconvenient fact is that I never acquired exclusive rights to the bug books. In fact, if you uh, look at the uh, display case 10, I don't think you'll find a single um, display book that has my uh, name as the sole author of the six bug books. So what is a uh, museum enterprise? Well, it's a brick bricks and mortar museum in Floyd County and worldwide internet-based marketing, which consists of the following bullets. I mentioned a deceptive July 1st, 2015 version on Wikipedia. Well, you can go to uh, the article and it was revised on September 16th, 2015, and the entire uh, bug book paragraph in this revised uh, September version was omitted. And uh, there is an enormously misreading, misleading use of Bugs logo. I originally owned them I uh, designated them for my uh, bug books, one and two. And 41 years later, I never had any sense that they would be used for exclusively in a private museum. And my question is, well, how did the museum enterprise acquire the bugs logo? And here is the most offensive statement. It comes in a, a audio track. And here's the quote. You see, bug books one and two were written by Professor o and myself. This is untrue and offensive. And then another way of saying that, that one and two were co-published. Well, we didn't co-publish it. I just, uh, uh, what, gracefully or something, uh, added Larson uh, to uh, the co-author listing. And the ungrateful guy, 41 years later, has the audacity to claim that he was a co-author and we jointly published Bug Books 1 and 2. He was no part of the publish, publication. I wrote the books. He didn't contribute anything. And uh, in one of his statements, I was really only a typist and here is the offending paragraph. He says, well, we're a team, and uh, he was the more important member of the team, and all I did was type all of the manuscripts. 
So what are we dealing here? With the museum enterprise propaganda, locally and worldwide. This is the end of this long duration YouTube video. I thank you for staying with me to the end and good day.